Hello, everyone. Welcome back for our December edition of our Star Talks. And this month in December of 2020, we have some interesting events going on. My name is Jim Gavio, and I'm here at the Yon Planetarium at Penn State Behrend. So what I'd like to talk about as far as our special events go this month, we have a meteor shower and something called a conjunction. But this one could be a super conjunction. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to get into our program here and show you the night sky. Let's look towards the west where we're about to see the sun go down. And I'm gonna set our date for December 15th, the middle of the month as we normally do. And what I want you to notice are Jupiter and Saturn right here in the center of your screen. And we've been talking about these planets all summer long and into the fall and they're getting closer and closer together. But watch what happens as I advance the date from the 15th to the 21st. Now I want you to watch the planets, don't watch the clock. Watch what happens to Jupiter and Saturn. I'm gonna move us ahead to the 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, and here we have the 21st. So on December 21st, 2020, we have a conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. But some people are calling this a super conjunction because they are so close together. This happens about every 20 years that they, they do come relatively close. But the last time they were this close was about 400 years ago. And so we're calling this a super conjunction. But you can see if you look up close with a telescope or a pair of binoculars, you can definitely see there's some separation there. But as we look back with a normal view, just with your eyes. If your eyes are good, I think you'll see the separation. But if, if your eyes aren't so good, or uh, maybe even if it's a little hazy or foggy outside, they may look as one object. All right, so keep an eye out for that December 21st. Let's go back to December 15th. middle of the month. So if you're going out in early December versus late December, you can make adjustments there. And we're going to move a little bit later into the night to about 630. We can see we have some constellations that we've already talked about in the past. Capricorn, Aquarius. Here we have Pisces with Mars. If you're trying to follow Mars, which I would because as I've said before, it's relatively close to the Earth still. Uh, it's not as faded out as uh, it could be, very dim sometimes. And we're going to move over to the east and advance our time to about 9 p.m. And at about 9 p.m., we have what we call the winter circle, the winter oval, or the winter hexagon that we will be able to see in the sky. And we're going to see it all winter long. But for now, as we get into early winter, uh, it is just above the horizon, about nine o'clock. So here we have um, the Gemini twins. I'll put up the pictures for you to see. The Gemini twins, Canis Minor, the little dog, Canis Major, the big dog, Orion, Taurus, the bull. So those are the popular constellations that we can see that make up this circle. And uh, in Orion, you can see his bright red shoulder, his blue shoulder, his belt, the red eye of Taurus the bull. Let's go here to Sirius, the brightest star in our night sky. Not the North Star, but Sirius, the dog star in the constellation of Canis Major, the big dog. Now, I mentioned that we were going to have a meteor shower. And maybe you're seeing a few meteors in here. If you look around this area, just keep looking at that and you'll see some meteors pass through. We have the Geminid meteor shower, which peaks on December 13th and 14th. So we're looking at the 15th right now. Now, a lot of people think that you have to go out on the peak night of the meteor shower. And if you don't, that you'll miss them. Well, this is not true. A meteor shower starts out kind of slow, then it reaches its peak, and then it tapers off. So if you can't go out on the 13th or 14th, and if the sky is not clear, 
uh, not all is lost. You can still go out and, and try to look for those. But the best chance you have would be on the 13th and the 14th. Now, this meteor shower is predicted to be one of the best of the year at about 100 to 150 meteors every hour. Now, that's that would be in dark skies. So if your area where you live is kind of bright from street lights or whatever, you're going to see less than that. But because the potential is there, I think everyone should be able to see something at some point. One last stop in our sky. Let's move around to the north. We're keeping an eye on the Big Dipper as we have been all summer and into the fall when it was over here in the northwest and down low in the northern sky. Well, now it's starting to turn upward again. We can see the four stars that make the cup or the bowl and the three stars in the long handle. It's starting to tip upward and stand on the tip of its handle. But no matter what, you can always point with these two stars, draw a straight line, and it will take you to the North Star, Polaris, which of course is in the Little Dipper. All right, and the Little Dipper makes up, or is part of, I should say, part of the Little Bear. The Big Dipper is part of the Big Bear. Well, I hope you enjoyed our tour through the December skies. Please keep a lookout for that meteor shower, December 13th and 14th, and on December 21st, that super conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. For now, thank you very much for joining us here at the On Planetarium at Penn State Behrend. <laughs>